This video is all about how to use an essential oils diffuser. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. I'm Rachel Jane, this is my oils channel, and I cover all kinds of things related to essential oils. So definitely hit subscribe and follow along if you are looking for more information. Okay, so diffusing. As far as how to do it, it is so easy. It is not complicated. You can put a diffuser anywhere in your home. They plug into the wall for the most part. There are some that run differently, like whether it's a USB or battery powered. The ones I'm talking about today are plugins. So they, they work great. You want to pick a location that's a little bit higher in the room so that as it diffuses, the oils come down into the room. So I usually pick my taller countertops or put it on an elevated bookshelf. And that way, as it's diffusing, it's just dispersing and flowing down into the room. Okay, so that's location. As far as how to use it, let me just show you. We'll start with the charcoal lantern diffuser from Young Living. Okay, this is the charcoal lantern diffuser. Each diffuser has a cap like so. Get all situated here. And then another cap inside, so decorative, and then a functional cap. And then there's a reservoir here for your water. So when I diffuse, I use distilled water or purified water. I tried using the tap for a while and it was really hard on my diffusers. It was wearing out the motor, it seemed like, and they weren't running as well. They do improve when you clean them, so definitely clean regularly. It's recommended about once a week to clean out your diffuser. Just, it's easy, again, you just like wipe out the reservoir, wipe out the cap, make sure that there's no buildup. That's what was happening when I was using tap water. It was just building up and um, just not that great. So I recommend the distilled or purified water, uh, filtered water for that reason. And then as far as oils go, you can use kind of however many drops that you want to use. I choose based on room size, intensity, and desired effect. So if I just want them to be really light, I will use less drops. If I want them to be really intense, I use more. You can kind of play with it as you go. So I, whenever I use a new oil, I start out with four or five drops and I increase that as I feel comfortable, as I feel like it needs. So if you use an oil and you're like, oh, that wasn't that intense, it didn't really do that much, then add a couple more drops. The most that I ever do is about 10 drops and that's, that's pretty intense. So you should not need that many starting out uh, with each oil. And then as far as quality, there are so many diffusers out on the market. You can get them from all kinds of places these days. They are not as high a quality. I'm just gonna tell you, like I've tried other diffusers and they don't work as well. These diffusers have run amazingly for me. So if you are checking this out, you also might wanna check out the video on getting started with essential oils. I will link that in the description and you can see like the breakdown of the Young Living kit. They have a starter kit. It comes with a diffuser, which is amazing. So I got my first diffuser with my kit and then I ended up getting this one. It was a special from Young Living um, last fall or winter. And that way I had a, another diffuser and I didn't have to tote it around all over the house. So like I said though, back to the operation and functionality, um, they plug into the wall, the, the ones that I have, and there's a power button here. You would click it once to turn it on. That in my experience has run for about four hours. Click it again and it will run for about eight hours. Click it again and it'll run about 10 hours. That's just my experience. It kind of depends on how full you get the reservoir and the, the last setting is a 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. That's that 10 hour-ish time frame. And then as far as the lighting goes, when you click this button, the light comes on in the diffuser and you can change that lighting by clicking it again and again. There's 11 different light settings. So this has a bright white, a lighter white, candlelight, a rainbow where it just goes through, cycles through all of the colors. And then um, it, offers each color individually as well. So you could match that based on your room, based on your mood, based on the fact that you wanted it to look like a candle. I mean, it's kind of up to you and how you want to do it. So let me show you the other diffuser that I have. 
This is the Desert Mist Diffuser. It comes with a starter kit. So again, just check out that video on getting started with essential oils if you'd like more information on that. It is the same way. It has that decorative cap and then you remove it and you have the internal cap and the reservoir there. So when you're filling it, I used to think that you were supposed to put like a ton of oils in there. It's really just pretty much all water and a few drops of oils. Like I was saying about the number of oils, you do want to make sure that you are using quality essential oils. Not all oils are the same. So if you haven't really considered that, definitely check out my video on seed to seal and that'll show you, break it down on what the quality of Young Living oils are versus other companies' oils and generic brands. So I hope that you were able to learn something about how to use your diffuser. And definitely hit like if you did, comment a question if you had one, and hit subscribe for future videos as I get this channel rolling. Uh, I will see you next time.